using the drawing register in a quotation, as well as just manually typing in the drawings that you're quoting from. You can actually store a copy of the drawing or drawings with the quotation. This drawing is then permanently saved with the quote and can be extracted and viewed at any time, even when the quote's been completed. So this will safeguard against the possibility of losing a drawing. Um, it might have been originally loaded from the uh, file server and someone might accidentally delete it or replace it with a different version. But by storing the uh, quote that you've quoted from with the quote, uh, you will always have a copy of that original uh, drawing. So to add drawings into the register, you can cl you click the drawing register button and this is accessible from any of the screens. So we're currently in the summary screen, but if we were in the bill of schedule of work screen, we can still access the drawing register. So this will then show a list of all the drawings uh, that are stored with the quotation. So to add drawings to this, simply click upload drawing slash document, just confirms that you want to do that. You'll then be able to navigate your way to the folder where the original is stored. So I'll just click on the drawings that I want and I'm using the control key as I click so I can select multiple drawings. And then we just click open the drawings are then placed into the register. Now, if I brought the wrong drawing in, I thought, oh, no, no, I don't need to store that one. Uh, simply highlight it by clicking on it and say clear selected drawing and confirm that you want to remove it from the list. I'll just bring that one back in again. So we'll bring back the lighting plan. And in it goes. By default, each drawing will be brought in and given the name that is stored with the file. Um, but I can also associate a drawing reference to that as well. So I could say this is drawing SC001 revision A. Now I can attribute these drawings into my quote listing. I simply say add to quote drawing list. It confirms that I want to add these into that. And it then gives me the option to either add to the drawings that I've already manually typed in or clear those and just add these. So I'm going to say yes, clear and add. And it will bring those in. Now you'll see here where there is a drawing reference, it will use the drawing reference as opposed to the drawing name. Obviously where there isn't a drawing reference, it has to use the name. Once they're in there, we can use these in other circumstances. So say we were doing our invitation to tenders. I could go create a new invitation to tender. So we'll send an invite to Sparks Electrical. By default, it puts the, all the drawings that were listed with the quotation. And I can then just remove the one, or ones that I'm not actually going to send with this quote and then standard uh, invitation to tender settings, when do we want it up by, I can then import my standard invitation to tender. So once I've formed my invite, when I issue the invitation and say that I want to form a PDF and email it, by default, the system will add all the actual drawings as attachments with the email and then I can just remove the ones that aren't applicable to this and then send the email off to the subcontractor and obviously they get their invitation to tender and the attached drawings. So at any point I can go back to this drawing register to view these drawings even when the quotation has been completed you know months after the event um, I get the drawing list and if I want to view one of these or all of them or some of them I just highlight the ones I want and then I say download drawing slash document. The system will then extract the drawings out of the quotation and put them in a folder to be on your C drive in a folder called contract controller documents and within there there's another folder called drawings and documents and it will place them in there. And from there, obviously, you can double click on them and view them. 
Now these are only copied from the quote, so I could just delete these from here. They are still stored within the quotation, so if I was to extract them again, it will add them into that folder again. So they're safe and secure, locked with that quotation at all times. And that's all there is to storing your drawings within your quotation.